this video, I'm gonna show you guys the two most essential funk grooves, or I would actually say the two funk grooves that if you can play these, you can basically play any funk tune because there's really two primary groove types. Um, also, if you dig this video, please like, subscribe, and if you like videos like these or like this groove, check out my book, Tactical Drumming Groove Survival Guide. Okay, so I actually played two different groove types at the very beginning of the video. The first one is, and what, the way I'm separating this is that there's basically straight funk, right? So using a straight eighth pattern, that's one and two and three and four. And then there's shuffle funk, right? Or funk shuffle. And that's where I was playing one, just one, a two, a three, a four, a one, or da -ka -da -ka -da -ka -da -ka -da, right? And so that's really the main difference between the two funk groups. So I'm going to play just a simple um, old school funk. This would be like something Clyde Stubblefield would play, like Funky Drummer. And that's just very simply this. You're going... doing here is with my hands I'm going um, I'm going right right together right left right left right together I'll play it slow a little slower right right together right left right left right together and boom now I can take a whole bunch of variations on this especially with my bass drum right but that's basically the gist and as long as I'm keeping those other notes or those ghost notes low this thing sits pretty nicely in the pocket at all sorts of different tempos, right? So if I'm playing, or if I'm playing a faster funk, right? And all that's really gonna change is I can mess with my bass drum, right? So in this case, for the simplicity sake, we've learned that basic pattern, right? Our right, right together, right, left, right, left, right together. Add the bass drum one, boom. that's basically it right so i'm going to break that down right or break that down so that you can play that and then start experimenting right for example change the bass drum or whatever and you just keep changing it more and more and it gets more and more interesting now the second one was the funk shuffle there's a lot of different ways that you can play this, right? You can play it kind of slow. And when I play it slow, I'll play this pattern and it's just a bounce. That as long as that's there, taking it slow, we've got like this kind of pattern. So it's going to go. But that's a really slow funk, right? That is like down and dirty. And the reality is usually funk shuffles are a lot faster. So typically what I'm gonna play is I'm gonna play that with two hands, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. The key is getting that difference between the straight and the swung pattern, right? So that rhythm. And then I'm just gonna put the back beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Then add the bass drum to one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And then maybe mix that bass drum, like use a typical rock boom, chock, a boom, boom, chock, and boom. And then one other variation that I want to bring up is just like that other pattern, I can use my left hand to play ghost notes. So instead of putting my left hand on the hi-hat, I can play that swing on the left hand on the snare and I get this sound. And then I have my bass drum. And then just like the other one, I just mix that bass drum up. Right, and then I get experimental with it. All right, so I'm gonna play it out for you one more time. But basically, to play in just about every funk style, you can either play straight funk grooves, like the funky drummer in Clyde Stubblefield style, or you can play a funk shuffle or a swung funk. And you'll be able to do just about any gig you need to.